<laughs> oh, Charlotte, you devil. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm Trevor Corson, animation and visual effects major. Have you ever found yourself having trouble drawing your character, visualizing them, actually putting them on the piece of paper? Have you ever experienced such of the following? Well, fret not, for I am here to correct your mistakes. In this video, I shall be providing some of my own unique techniques that help me create my own characters. So just sit back and listen to the following. <coughs> That's not my drinker. <coughs> Now before we actually get into the process of creating a character, you want to get into the right mindset of creativity. And one of the ways that I do that is a method that I created back when in high school. I, I like to call the term Anna in a Anna Mate. It's a working title. Simply put, all you have to do is pick one animal and one object of your choosing, then combine both for an entirely new design, like a trash monk or a tread goose or even an Ostrapple. Remember, the more challenged you are with your designs, the more rewarding it will be in the end. The trick is to challenge yourself and to expand your possibilities with your design. Another method that I like to use that's simple yet effective is key piecing. Key piecing is taking the most distinct feature from an animal or object and essentially deleting it from the original host. It helps piece out which parts are instantly recognizable and can later be used to create your own iconic piece for your character. Now that we know some ways to be more creative when designing our characters, we can now focus on fleshing out the actual development of our characters. Music is often used in a scene to characterize a specific mood. So what we'll be doing instead is using the music to characterize our own characters. And all you need is just a set of headphones. Well, after your tangle. Okay. Characters often receive themes later in production, so instead we'll be reversing this. Just listen to some music, legally obtained music, and let the music speak for itself. but not least is the method that I use the most often. It's where you take emotions from a character and reverse it. Just as the description says, you take a predetermined mood or emotion from a character and give the character the exact opposite of that mood slash emotion. Simple, perhaps. Effective, definite. As an example, my villain character, Error, first started out as a very dark and generic bad guy. Nothing really made her appealing to me, and I really disliked the serious nature I'd given her. So, I decided to swap her personality to see what it would be like. Now she acts like a carefree child with too much power at her fingertips. Her new comedic nature and carelessness can be very disturbing when put in serious situations, which is exactly what I wanted in my series. So when this method works, it really works. And when it doesn't, it can still work out. Even if you might prefer the original personality, sometimes the new reverse personality may find its way into other characters, or dare I say, even create a new character entirely. And you don't have to limit yourself to just reversing the emotions, you can also just assign any emotion if you haven't tried it yet. And that just about wraps things up. Thank you guys for watching, I hope these methods were actually beneficial to you and hopefully kickstart some of your creative ideas. Well guys, this is it, looks like it's time for me to lickety split.